Neuroscience is the study of the brain and nervous system. Actually, the brain is part of the nervous system, so all neuroscientists, in one way or another, study nervous systems. Still, there are a lot of approaches to doing so. Some neuroscientists are biochemists, molecular biologists, and pharmacologists, studying how the molecules, cells, and drugs that make up and interact with the nervous system work, whether in humans or non-human animals. For example, one scientist might study how brain cells, called neurons, communicate with each other using electrochemical messages called action potentials, while a different researcher might study how those chemicals, called neurotransmitters, actually work at the molecular level, or perhaps how a drug like alcohol works by affecting neurotransmitter receptors. By the way, if you want to learn more about neurotransmitters, drugs, and action potentials, a good place to start might be with my serotonin video series. Other neuroscientists can be seen as anatomists, physiologists, and geneticists, as well as developmental and evolutionary biologists. Now, for example, physiologists might study how the autonomic nervous system, which controls the organs of the body, affects those organs when it's in a state of fight or flight. An evolutionary neurobiologist, on the other hand, might study how a particular brain region, like the cerebral cortex, evolved over hundreds of millions of years from the brains of fish to those of humans. If you're interested in this topic, check out my video on brain evolution. Still, other neuroscientists are clinicians who publish case studies such as neurologists, neurosurgeons, neuropsychiatrists, and neuropsychologists. For example, neurologists specialize in disorders of the nervous system, usually arising from damage or disease, and they may publish a case study if they have a patient or set of patients whose injuries are particularly revealing about either how the brain works or if they indicate a potentially useful treatment for a particular disorder. Another set of neuroscientists are those who apply the tools of neuroscience, especially brain imaging, which refers to taking pictures or videos of the living brain to psychology, which usually studies the mind rather than the brain. These include behavioral, affective, and cognitive neuroscientists, as well as neurolinguists. These scientists often study how a function of the mind, like behavior, memory, or emotion, is implemented in the brain. For example, they might use functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, to study emotional regulation, and how the prefrontal cortex, a region right at the front of the brain, is crucially involved. But by the way, the prefrontal cortex, or PFC, is a super interesting brain region that has a lot to do not only with emotional regulation, but also working memory, executive function, and even your sense of self. So if you're interested in that, check out my video on the PFC. Other cognitive neuroscientists may study something more specific, such as how the brain works while reading fiction, or looking at faces, or how consciousness works, or they may even study the variety of experiences and practices surrounding religion and spirituality and how they work in the brain. For example, I interviewed the neuroscientist Andrew Newberg about his pathbreaking research on the neuroscience of spirituality. Neuroscience is young, having only become a field in its own right in the last couple hundred years. Yet an even newer branch of neuroscience is called computational neuroscience. It uses mathematical models to try to understand the brain. For example, in seeking to understand individual circuits of neurons in a brain network concerned with movement, a computational neuroscientist might write a computer program informed by close experimental observations that help to model that phenomenon. Okay. We have barely scratched the surface of what neuroscience is, and we've seen only a glimmer of the incredible variety of approaches there are to studying neuroscience. By the way, I'm Andrew, and this is Sense of Mind. I am dedicated to giving you an accurate understanding of how the brain works in clear and simple language based on the best available science. So if you're interested in diving deeper into some of the topics we've mentioned here, or if you simply want to learn more about neuroscience in general, check out my channel. If you like it, be sure to like and subscribe. Finally, in the captions below, I've listed my favorite books about the brain, as well as some of the interviews I've done with neuroscientists and some of my explainer videos about various aspects of brain function. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.